Ferguson, you're recognized for a question. Thank you, Madam Chair, Representative Copeland. I uh, just want to ask you a question for clarification. Uh, piggybacking off of Representative Clowney, we're talking about criminal trespassing. I want to be sure I got the understanding correctly. So if someone, under this amendment, if someone is, is trespassing unintentionally, uh, they, if they're doing it unintentionally, they would be able to stand their ground, ground under this amendment? Correct. Uh, one one follow-up, Madam Chair. So, if someone came on my property in the front yard at 12 midnight, let's say, and I asked them to leave, and they decided not to leave, but they unintentionally were trespassing. They didn't intend to be there, but they are there. And when I come out and tell them to leave, and order them to leave, they have a right to stand their ground under this amendment? They, they would have a right to the to stand your ground, because in that situation, you're not an aggressor, and you're not threatening their life. Um, so they, they would not be able to use this bill, this amendment, to to stand their ground against you. But if I come out of my front, uh, excuse me, Madam Chair, just, just one you're right, you point. But if I come out of my front door, it's 12 midnight, and I'm, I'm probably pretty angry, and I come out of my front door, and ordering them to get off my property, I'm on my property, they're on my property, unintentionally. And this amendment kind of gives them the right to protect themselves because now I have charged out of my front door on my property saying, get off of my land. Mm -hmm. you're, you're making a disturbance, you're making noise, you're, and they did it unintentionally, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. So in that scenario, what you're saying is you you leave your house to confront a trespasser coming out of my front porch. You're coming out of your front porch, and you are basically threatening them that if they don't leave your property, that you will use violent force against them. Correct. I'm telling them get off my property now. I'm calling the police. Leave right now. They turn and they decide they're unintentionally on my property. They didn't intend to be there. Mm -hmm. Maybe they intend to go to my neighbor's house. But they ended up on my property, creating a disturbance and creating noise. I'm, I'm excited. I'm upset. Yeah. And I come out of my front porch, and I say this because this has happened. I come out of my, of my front door, yelling and screaming because it's 12 midnight, and you're on my property, unintentionally. Yeah. And then they decide to stand their ground on my property. So in this situation, what you're saying is they then feel that their life is threatened. Absolutely. And then that they then use the stand your ground defense to to use deadly force against you. Yeah, they that, unintentionally. That's yeah, they're unintentionally mm -hmm. trespassing on my property. Yes. They didn't intend to, mm -hmm. but they are there now. Yeah. So with this amendment, if they are criminally trespassing, um, with the intent of doing any of these things. So let's say, I mean, they're trespassing, but it's, it's completely innocent. Like you said, they were trying to go to your next door neighbor's house or something like that. Um, only if they felt that their life was in imminent danger and that they were going to die or someone else they were with was going to die, they could use the stand your ground defense. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. Representative Scott, you recognize for a question? Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh,